Alright guys, back for another Dokkan battle video. So we just did a Int Angel Golden Freezer EZA showcase. Taking him to a few different stages of the game. And now we'll be going into arguably the most toughest piece of content available right now. It's not arguably, it is. It's is. We're going up against Cell Max. Now, usually I actually feel pretty confident when I'm taking an Int unit into this event. And to be fair, if you look at Team HP as well. Bye. Bye. We, uh, by God, we have a lot of HP, right? 720,000, but... Integer Golden Freezer is probably one of the biggest frauds I have seen for a very long time. He is so bad. I I don't know what they're thinking. I mean, the advantage that we have here is that the Wicked Brother team is exceptionally powerful. We also have Metal Cooler. We have two Metal Coolers on the team, so... At any point, if I feel endangered, I will just throw... I will dash one of these Metal Coolers. Oh, what do we do? Do we do this or do we do this? I think it's more important to build up Cooler more so than Golden Freezer. So let's do this. Let's do this. Of course, global players, you guys will get Golden Freezer. Actually, you guys should get him in a week or two, right? But, you know, I think for the most part, if we do actually feel slightly endangered, we just throw one of the Metal Coolers, the LR Metal Coolers, in harm's way and we can get the revive and then we should be good from that point, but... Yeah, this could still prove to be difficult. Uh, cooler final form does a bit more damage than he ought than he ought than he ought to than he ought to. My word, than he than he needs to. So it doesn't like it doesn't give us time to build up like some of these units, right? Like remember the LR Metal Cools are also a build up unit. I believe LR Golden Freezer is also a build up unit of sorts. So for sure, like this could prove to be difficult. Oh yeah, we also have to, I feel like we have need to, it's actually, my, it's actually my best interest to blitz and speed through this event as quick as possible because Golden Freezer, remember, he does lose his damage reduction for each turn that passes. Uh, sure, we can do this. So let's do this. Let us do this. And then Cooler can have whatever. Okay, so start a turn defense is, ah, 200k. I mean, remember, in terms of Golden Freezer, he much... He would like to go up against super class enemies for that extra 100% attack and defensive buff that he gets. That is a start of turn buff, by the way. And Cell Max, of course, is an extreme class enemy. But you also have to take a look into consideration the type modifiers. For Freezer, we don't actually have to apply any type modifiers. Because he's an extreme type unit versus... Uh, I say he's versus, but because he's facing an extreme type boss, the multiplier will remain the same. So he will actually need much lower defense than a super int unit would need to uh, face off against Cell Max. So six, 6 million, I mean, that's whatever. Again, we're not really rocking the Fizz Angel Golden Freezer, so there is no chance of getting a Reps of Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn for that type of effectiveness, but I don't really think it matters too much anyway in this event. Golden Freezer should, now should be double digits. Okay, okay, yes. I mean, remember as well, trans, not trans, yeah, the Transforming Cooler, because we're facing only one enemy. Uh, let's do this. Because we're facing only one enemy, we, we are getting his transformation boost support buff. So, you know, Intangible Golden Freezer is a recipient of that buff. I'm just wondering, is there any other support units we could have dashed onto the team? I I don't know. I'm looking at Wicked Bloodline. I'm not putting STR Cool Leaser on the team. He's fine, but he's not like Cell Max fine. Int Final Form Freezer. Uh, no, we're not facing up against a like, Goku's family category enemy. No, I don't really think there is. Okay. I mean, that's to be expected, right? I feel like the only reliable support unit in, the, in this event is probably going to be something like Int Chila. Okay, Cooler. Cooler just wanted to do it by himself. All right, relax, Cooler, chill. Alright, this is good because this will also hit Metal Cooler in the end, so he will build up his passive as well somewhat. Golden Freezer as well is a bit of a build-up unit, right? I believe he gets he gets two key and 50% defense after performing five or more super attacks during battle. Maybe I should have prioritized him, but I don't know. I feel like Cooler prioritizing him is far better. Alright. Uh-huh. I mean, we don't really have anything to worry about here, I don't think. I mean, I don't, I don't think I do, but who knows? Ah, uh, yikes. 166. So what, what can I, uh, what can I do differently? I can't, I don't, I can't. I literally can't do anything differently anyway. 
what was it 166 850 i believe so post super attack defense is 250k oh my god golden freezer sucks bruh even with the support that's not gonna make him be at double digits he's gonna take like 200k or 150k per normal here i think 90k okay that's not as bad as i was predicting oh we lived okay oh never mind we <laughs> we're dead all right whoop de doo Yikes. Okie dokie, guys. So we have returned. We actually have the S tier cooler support on this rotation. Defense is looking slightly better at 200k, so he will tank the hits after you super attacks far better. But, I mean, we could still end up dying, right? It all, it all really depends on where the, uh, the, the cell max boss decides to super attack, right? If he super attacks at the end, we might actually be good here. I mean, we'll be sitting at 300k defense post this super, so it's far better. Wow, he just he just every turn wants to super attack, huh? We might we might live though. We might live. Yeah, I mean that's just due to the sheer amount of HP that we have. I mean, we still took 67k per normal. All right, guys. So I thought we just return one last time. Uh, this is not an ideal rotation, right? We are getting. Oh, sorry, we aren't. We are getting. We're missing prodigies and revival for the most part. Though I don't think those are really impactful links here, right? Prodigies is an attack buff, 15% attack, and then revival I believe does give attack and defense, but only when your HP is 50% or less. Now, I came back just because we are using the Wicked Bloodline support memory, so that is giving everyone on the team a, a further 10% attack and defense. So that is why the you know, Golden Freezer's defensive stat here is 220. And of course, SDR Cooler, we can't just dash him into slot three because he will uh, definitely die, right? So this will probably be the final rotation of the video. I mean... If uh, Angel Golden Freezer, if, if he gives me a double super attack, we could potentially live. Or if Cell Max doesn't super attack at all in slot 3, which I feel like well, that's not going to happen because he didn't super attack Golden Freezer in slot 1, then we could potentially live. But otherwise, I, I don't foresee anything happening here. I mean, we can assume that because we have an extra 20k defensive level, we should be taking 20k less than last time. So around 40k here. About 50k, okay. We got a dodge. What's funny is actually we're going to live. I don't think this doesn't kill us. <laughs> okay, well. Yep. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, Int Angel Golden Midza. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.